Hello, children. How are you? It's great to see you. Today, we are learning about the commutative property of addition. Are you excited? Let's begin. Let me explain the commutative property of addition by an example. Look, you can easily find two plus one equals three. Next, you can also easily find one plus two equals three. So you can see. Two plus one equals one plus two because they both equals three. Look, when we swap the numbers over, the sum doesn't change. This is the commutative property of addition. Now, you try pick any two numbers, add them together, then swap the numbers over, add them together again. Do you find the same answer? You always will. So. Now you know the commutative property of addition. Let's have some practice. Task one: Filling the missing numbers. To do this task. For this video to download and print the worksheet below, then try to it on your own. When you finish, replay the video to check the answers with me. Now, let's find the answers together. By the commutative property of addition, we can easily have. One plus three equals three plus one equal four. Next, four plus two equals two plus four equal six. Next, two. Plus five equals five plus two equal seven. Next, six plus four equals four plus six equal ten. Next. Five plus four equals four plus five equal nine. Next, six plus two equals two plus six equal eight. Next, two plus eight equals eight plus two equal ten. The last one, seven plus two 
equals two plus seven equal nine. You did a great job. Now you can relax. Sing a song. Bye for now and see you soon.